what's up everybody this is harry and today i'm doing a foam test i'm going to be generating foam using three different foam solutions that are recommended on Dom gaia so the first is going to be the dawn dish detergent i have the proper amount of uh, water to soap solution in there the second is going to be seven generations and the last will be the Drexel foaming agent. So what I'll do is I'm going to make foam using each of these detergents and foaming solution and I'll just leave the camera on to see how long it takes for the uh, foam to dissipate. So the first one I'm going to start with is the seven generations. I'm sorry, the, uh, the Drexel is going to be the first one I use. And after each one, I'm going to rinse the wand out with uh, fresh water. Okay, that's the first one starting. Now, I'll rinse this until it's clear. Okay, that looks like clear water again. Now, we're going to do the seven generation. I'm going to rinse this again now. Okay, let's water again. And lastly is going to be the dawn.
Talk about a clean test. Okay. Now to this point, it's been about one hour since I started the video. <clears throat> and um, as you can see, the Dawn has almost completely collapsed. The seventh generation, it's right behind it, collapsing. But the Drexel foaming agent is still standing strong. Now the reason this test is very important is because when you're mixing your aircrete, you want to give the cement time to cure with the air bubbles still in it. So if your cement is curing and the bubbles are collapsing, you're not going to have aircrete. You're going to end up with a solid mass of cement. So it's important to keep those bubbles in there. So that's why um, if your aircrete is going to take longer than one hour to cure, which it usually does, you want to have a good foaming agent so just based on this test right here I highly recommend the Drexel foaming agent because it was designed to be a foaming agent the other two soaps were designed to clean not to make bubbles uh, not to make foam so it's great if you don't have it if you don't have the Drexel and you have access, you can still make aircrete. But if you want to make a good batch of aircrete that's going to last you, just invest in, invest in the Drexel foaming agent and only use that. Because as you can see, it's far superior than the other two for making foam. Okay, as you can see, the uh, dawn is completely collapsed to right to the bottom. It's all just a liquid. The uh, seven generation is the same. It's completely collapsed. The Drexel is perfect, solid. This is what you want to make air cream with. Solid. This stuff here, look, collapses. It's 
good. Anyway, that was a test. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please uh, like and subscribe. Peace out.